This is why I say this is a textbook evacuation. How did this happen? Well, investigations into the collision between Japan Airlines 516 and a smaller Coast Guard plane late Tuesday afternoon at Haneda Airport are ongoing. Five of the six Coast Guard plane crew members were killed in the crash. But in what's been called a miracle, all 379 passengers and crew escaped the Airbus A350 plane. Now for more on investigations, let's get to the point with Gary Ho, a senior lecturer in aviation management. Gary, we'll get to the circumstances of the crash in a bit, but let's get to that miraculous evacuation of everyone on board JL-516. It's a burning plane. How is that possible? Surely this is more than just passengers following procedures, uh, perhaps the safety of the plane itself? Okay, Arianto, there's many factors in this case where, uh, which led to the safe evacuation of all passengers and crews on, uh, on board that aircraft. The passengers are very much responsible for the safe evacuation. You notice hardly anyone took a bag and hardly anyone had shoes on and people ran far away from the aircraft you know, once they slid down that slide and some stayed behind to help people get off the slide. So the passengers were really one factor. Secondly, if you look at the makeup of the passengers, this was a domestic Japanese flight. So mainly uh, Japanese nationals. And they are well known to be disciplined to follow the instructions of the crew members. And that for me is another contributing factor that they followed the instructions of the crew. Uh, thirdly, the Japan Airlines, you also have to give it to them. After uh, uh, the incidents that happened in the past, they took safety very seriously. And since then, they have actually a very strong safety culture. And this is drilled into them time and time again. That is another factor that the crew have been practicing year on year to the, you know, for this situation. And they know what to do. They don't panic. They are calm. Passengers are calm. Everyone is calm and everybody follows instructions. Therefore, everybody got out safe. Now, another factor would be that this was a relatively new aircraft. It was an A350-900. And this aircraft is only two years old. Um, this aircraft is made mainly of composites. And when you see the accident happen, you would have noticed that the aircraft was literally on fire. Okay, And yet, when you see videos of people filming within the interior of the cabin, it was very, very calm. There was hardly any smoke. The aircraft insulated the interior very well. And also, the aircraft held itself in place. It hardly broke apart. So these factors, right, all these factors combined together gave everyone a really good chance of survival. So Gary, investigations into the circumstances of the crash are ongoing. What could they entail? And where would investigators start? Well, any... Uh, aircraft investigation is very, very thorough. So their accident bureau uh, would have probably started investigations by now. They would be reviewing all the videos. They would be looking for the black boxes of both the aircraft. And then at the same time, reviewing all the ATC uh, recordings. And in this case, it is known that the ATC did give the instruction to the Coast Guard uh, aircraft to hold short of the runway. Uh, but somehow the aircraft went into the runway. Um, so we don't know what happened and what caused that to happen right now. Now, not to jinx anything, but what should we do if we get caught in a similar situation, Gary? Like I have always mentioned to everyone, your life is more important than anything else. So please leave everything behind and get out of the aircraft calmly and orderly. Now, the other few tips that I would give you is to have your important documents and important items with you throughout the flight. Don't leave it in your bags, right? Like your passport, your phone, because these are things that you will need. And I, like for me, when I travel, I have it with me all the time. Uh, thirdly, follow instructions of the crew. Follow them. They are there for your safety. And service is just usually a minor component of what they do. They are there for your safety safety. I can't reiterate this enough. Pay attention to the safety video. It is played time and time again for you to know what to do in an emergency. And if it, you keep paying attention and it, you keep remembering what is said in that video, it eventually gets into your mind and you remember that what to do when the time comes. And finally, 
please remember to put your seats upright, open all the window shades upon landing. If you look at the statistics, most of the accidents usually happen on landing. Um, and that's the reason why we ask you to open all the window shades so that we can look out of the plane and decide which exit to open. And in this case, only three of the eight exits were serviceable. Therefore, it's really a miracle that almost 400 people out of the aircraft on three slides in 90 seconds. This is why I say this is a textbook evacuation. And why do you have to put your seat up? Because when you lean your seat back, you're actually making the exit way smaller for the people behind you. That's the reason why we always ask you to do certain things in the aircraft. And if you follow instructions, you're actually helping everybody else to survive better.